Hi everyone. Uh, well, for today's video, we will learn how to create, how to use Wada in order to monitor uh, your Docker containers, uh, resources consumption, and have this information like displayed here in a in this in a dashboard similar to this one. So the first step here will be to 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 navigate to Wada. And go to management groups. In this case, I will push the the configuration through the groups to my to my, to my agents. So I have this already here. So mainly, I'm pushing this configuration to the agents belonging to this group. So it's I'm just running this command uh, every minute. And, and send in this information to, to my WASA. And so the second step would be create a decoder for this. I have already created it just to make the video as quick as possible. So the decoder will be this one. I will link to, to the video to the description uh, uh, my blog about it so you can have this decoder so the, this decoder will decode the, the the information about the that we receive from the from the agents about the uh, the containers consumption so add the decoder and the last step would be to add a rule that will trigger the the alert and it should be as as simple as this one that i have here this one yeah it's pretty simple so uh, yeah and and uh, this configuration is being pushed to to to, my, to this host in this host I have uh, I have two containers running which are uh, this guy here and I have a uh, was a uh, agent running there Okay, so after this, after configuring this, you will just with you will have for every every minute you will receive the 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 information about the the containers consumption. So you see here if we check the events, we should have should have this alerts or informations. About the here we see other Docker resources. You can see this information about like container CPU usage, container ID, memory, all this. This is the same that I'm using in my in my dashboard here. Here I'm. I should see just for the last minute because I configured it to be for the last one minute to see like the last updates about the the consumption I will link also this dashboard if you want or we can just go ahead and create it in this in this, uh, in this video quickly I will just go to visualization then create table uh, alerts and then like uh, let's see here we want to uh, add filter like decoder name is uh, docker because I want, oh, I want only the alerts that are decoded as uh, docker r and then yeah terms I can just add uh, the terms that I have container uh, name first thing we can add like uh, the, we can add the timestamp and make it like for every minute Then we can, yeah, can actually we can even use seconds so I can see the second as well in the in my time zone. And then add another row as my container. Container, you can see I have another video for how to create a, 
how to create uh, dashboards and visualizations. But yeah, it's, it's as simple as this. I have the container CPU, I can add container name. And as we go, we're going to add all this information, other information to be similar to the other one that I just already created. Yeah, let's add something like uh, memory. Yeah. I'm not going to add all of them. So, yeah, save uh, that container consumption, usage, uh, resources. Yeah, just save this and you can use it and uh, add it to your to your dashboard which I already have here. It's the one that I showed you. Yeah. Um should the first yeah, should should come up. So we see here all information that's we need. And I hope you like it. And for the decoders and rules, um, also the configuration, I will add it to my blog post in the description. Thank you.